Day 109 Good news coming from Medina It was exactly a year ago since Mus'ab had gone to Medina and during this time very good things had taken place. The majority of the people of Medina had accepted Islam. Mus'ab had carried out the task assigned to him successfully. Of all this time, he had missed the Prophet deeply. He desired to see him as soon as possible and tell him about what was happening. Those people from Medina who had never seen him were curious and becoming impatient to see him. They wanted to invite the Prophet to Medina. When the pilgrimage season came round again, a group of them, 75 people in all, set out for Mecca. Some of them have chosen to go to the Prophet. If the pagans noticed them, they would stop at nothing to do them harm. For that reason, they had to move carefully. They found the Prophet in the masjid and approached him with great caution. O oh, Messenger of Allah, we all came from Medina in a large group. We should like to take you to Medina and save you from all the persecution of these pagans. Can we talk about this matter? The Prophet accepted their offer to meet and ask them to come to Aqaba again. The man quietly left the masjid. It was a dark night. It was pitch black. No one could see anyone else. During the late hours of the night, the Muslims of Medina met with the Prophet. They took an oath that they would protect him and his children, just as they would protect their own. They added, O Messenger of Allah, accept our offer. Come with us to Medina. We are a strong community. They had opened their arms to the Prophet. They were inviting him to Medina. They wanted to take him out of this society that did not know his value and were always troubling him. But one of them had some worries. He stood up and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, if Allah makes you successful after reaching this agreement and you decide to go back to your own people, leaving us to ourselves, what would be our situation? At this question, or rather hesitation, the Prophet responded, I am joining you. You are from me, and I am from you. I would fight against those whom you fight, and I would make peace with those whom you are at peace. The agreement was completed. The Prophet extended his hand. The Muslim of Medina came to him one by one and promised him that they would protect the Prophet in any event, even if it were to cost them their lives. One night at Aqaba, this second agreement was thus reached. Everyone was happy. The Muslims of Medina left from that gathering with total trust in and a warm regard for the Prophet.